What's going on guys? Welcome to a Darkness Rises video. And I just wanted to explain how do I feel about the chaos of this. Well, I've been playing this game for a significant amount of time. And I think the Chaos Abyss is probably by far like the worst event I've ever done. I'm only doing the event because it's just extra content, but the awards are very lackluster. Um, they're not good in any way for the kind of event that we're doing. And they could have gave us way better awards for this event because it's basically it's overpowering, no matter what level you are. I mean, you're not being it. You know, eight or nine times, maybe more. But even even beating it, it's just not worth it. So the event is is probably the worst event I've been in. Even though you get like rank L tickets and stuff like that, and rank L refined stones and polishes, you get that from Regina. So we already have a way of of getting that. And the fact that we have to wait a significant amount of time uh, just to go into the abyss, it's just not. It's just not any way worth it. So I hope if they ever decide to do an event like this again, they actually make it worth our time doing it. Because if we had a lot more content in the game, I probably would never do the Chaos of this. It's just not worth the time to go through it on any on any of the characters. I mean, yeah, you get more L refined stones and L. Um, you know, Polish and stuff like that, but we'll have plenty of ways, we'll have other ways to get that. You know, if you noticed every event that they do, they give us like the same rewards over and over again. They never give us like rewards that we just don't get that they won't get normally. Like like the rate up stones and um the other stones you get. I can't remember the name of those, but those the ones that you can use um, if when you use whenever you fuse your S plus plus gear, you can use one of those to basically allow you to secure both of your um, pieces of armor or gear, whatever you're using. They don't give us those. Now we can get raid up stones if you fight uh, if you fight the corrupted Regina in hell mode. That's the only way. Like they should have gave us that in the Chaos Abyss. They should have gave us both of those in the Chaos Abyss, along with the rewards that we that we got as well. And I realize I'm fighting level eight. I can beat level eight in one shot. I should have been paying attention a little bit more. But it's it's pretty annoying that this event, that the Chaos Abyss event, how it is, and it's just it's just clearly not worth it. And I'm only doing it because it's more content. So, I can only do it on one character currently, and even if I can do it on the rest, I probably still wouldn't, because it's just very boring, overpowering, which is how it's supposed to be, which I'm okay with. It can be that way, but since the rewards are basically hot trash, it's, it's, it, it frustrates me to want to keep doing it every day. I'm not sure if anybody else feels the same way, but yeah, the rewards is just... It's very like lust and very horrible, and you don't get enough even if you beat it. Like I, like I said, I, I've beaten it several times, so it's not like I haven't ever beat it. I have, and clearly, I just don't even try beating it anymore because the worst is just not worth doing. I'm trying to do it, I mean, it's quite insane. I, I've been playing this game for a long time. That's probably by far the worst event I've ever played, by far, and there's been worse events than that. But yeah, that one's pretty pretty horrible. It just makes me want to do Regina instead of that because I still get the same thing at the end of the day, except minus the uh no, we still get the I believe we get tickets as well, L skill tickets I believe. But um, even so, I I rather just do Hell Mode because it actually it's actually in my opinion a lot funner. Um, Hell Mode is just extremely lackluster the create the creativity of it is very horrible it kind of just shows you how how much time they put into creating something and this is very boring and it's nothing new it's literally the same thing if not enhanced versions of stuff and it's just very boring like it's, it's not exciting in any way shape or form like i just want to play an event where i'm actually excited to get on and play for hours and hours and hours with all my characters i haven't felt that way yet except not really for this one, but it's just because of the gold. Um, you know, we, you get bonus gold from the from the uh, rate now. 
So it's actually worth getting on your characters and getting on hours and hours to get gold. But other than that, like I, 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 I want to get on and actually work for something. And I just haven't felt that way yet amongst, you know, just trying to get um, get your gears and stuff like that and just farming um, Gate of the Dead and stuff like that. But as far as events go, I just haven't felt that way um, yet. And I hope they actually, if, if they want to do OP events, I'm all for it. But make the rewards very, very worth it because this is the very first basically OP event. Um, and the rewards are hot garbage. And the reason why I say that is because once you get all the L skill tickets you need, which I have on my main, they're just sitting here. Like I can't use them anymore. And it's only for my main. It's not for anybody else, which is fine because that's how it's supposed to be. But it's not for any, it's not for anybody else. So I have all of my skills that I want now. Uh, Ben had that. There wasn't really much I had to uh, change in the first place. Now they're just sitting here. So I'm not sure if they're going to, um, yeah, I, I meant to fight level seven. I should have been paying attention to my meter. It's okay. I mean, I, I have gems to spend, so it's all good. But fighting level seven, you can one shot it through. I was pretty close. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, it's just this event's very overpowering. Even I'm I'm pretty sure, you know, even at like the maximum power you can still get through it. But it's just overall regardless of the matter, the the event's just not really worth it. By by any way. And I hope that they actually make more overpowering events like this, but just make it actually worth the time to go through it. Because it, it's 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 just not. You have to wait a significant amount of time to begin with, and then the rewards are just you know, they're horrible. So they're not in any way, shape, or form worth the time to keep uh, going through it, you know, every day. Because you can actually go through the abyss five times a day, if you didn't know that. Depending on what time you start, you can actually um, you can actually go through a little longer than that, actually. So you can, you can go through it a couple times a day, actually. Is it worth it? To me, it's not. You don't really get anything. So, I don't know. I just hope they um, make uh, better events that are like this. Because I don't mind all the overpowering and stunning and stuff like that. That's, that, that's fine. But when you see what you get for it, it's not. I don't want to keep going through that over and over and over and over and over again. Just getting the same stuff over again. Like I'm, I'm just not for it. Because, again, you can fight Chaos. Uh, you can fight the Card of Regina in Hell Mode and, and still get what you're giving us. So, you know... This would be the perfect time for this event to give us stuff that we normally don't get. Because we only get rate up stones in one place. So, and then those other stones. See, what they should have did, since there's four bosses in this event, what they should have did is just basically, like, basically give us um, everything from every boss. But you also get bonus rewards. So you fight like a certain boss, you get rate up stones along with everything else you get. Or you fight this boss that's harder to beat than any of the other bosses. You'll get right up. You get everything plus right up stones plus those uh, green stones, so you can actually fuse your gear at least a couple times and still have um, and still have uh, your gear left if you fail. So it would have been it would have been just very smart for them to do stuff like that instead of doing the same stuff over and over again and just bring a little bit more creativity and better rewards to such a powerful event. Because I don't care that it's hard. I've already beaten it plenty of times. I care. Because the awards are trash, hot trash. It's not, not even in the slightest way that they're good. So, because again, we get this stuff from Regina, we get it from everywhere else. So, it was just not worth the time to keep doing this over and over again. Because, yeah, I mean, you can get them for your main character, but again, not everybody has all their characters to uh, like plus 45 or 46 million. I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, 50 million because you have to be 48 million to finish the game, I believe. So, uh, I, I believe so. Let me see. But, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's just not worth the time to keep doing this. So, yeah, you have to be about, 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 about 50 million, you know, because normally, like, um, whenever you're trying to adventure and stuff like that, 
um, it's safe to say that you need to be at least like um, plus um, two million higher than your than the normal recommended to really uh, to really get through to really get through everything. But basically, that would have been a lot smarter ways to try to get through is to have a lot more power. So basically, basically about, about, about two million over. But it would have been very helpful if they would have added more ways to get everything else that we needed. I'm kind of just rambling through. But, yeah, it's it, it just been a little easier um, to get better gear. So, yeah, so, yeah, the um, the fusion guard stones I was trying to find. So, if we had, like, those in the event, it would have been a little bit better in this type of event. And just have, like, certain bosses give you, like, um, so, basically, like, when you fight every boss except for one, you'll get the, uh, you know, the L, the, um, L, the L tickets, the L tickets. Refined stones, polishes, and like rate up stones. And then for the hardest boss to kill, um, you all you'll get all that plus the uh fusion stone as well. That would have been better. That that would have been uh, you bring all the BS you want at that point because we're getting stuff that we just don't get normally, so it's actually worth the BS to deal with. So at that point, I, I I would shut my mouth. I wouldn't say anything because this event's worth it. It's extremely hard. Hey, look, if you get through, you get through. You don't, you know. So, you know, to reach your own. But at least, you know, you're you're busting your your butt, you know, your butt off to to get through this event, and you get through. Hey, you get heavily rewarded. You know, if you don't, you'll get some rewards. But you know, what what you're going through is just not worth it because not everybody can just breeze through it. So I've breached through this event, and you know, I, I've actually beat the Chaos Abyss three times in a row, no problem. But that doesn't matter. My only complaint is the rewards is not worth it at all. So, and it hasn't been for a significant amount of events that I've been playing in this game. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree that. But no need to expect for every event to be very good. I'm not saying that neither. I'm just saying this event specifically should have been far better than um in, in in the reward spectrum because it's just not it's just not good in any way shape or form so hopefully they will learn how to make the rewards better because i know we're getting a new power up reward event as well finally and they took the last one away so because i didn't miss too many days on that event because that was a three month or so event and they took that away immediately so it was it was very horrible that they did that, but we're getting a new one, and I hope that they actually keep this one because I don't know why they would sit here and do that. But it's just my thoughts on the event. It's just not. Um, I don't. I have not ever really enjoyed this event. It needs to be so much better. So I'm hoping the next one they actually make the cast of better because you have four bosses. And they should have gave one one of these bosses the most awards because it's just not worth it. You know, the gold could have been significantly higher. You're playing an event that's pretty hard, actually. Their fine stones should have been a lot better. You don't get polishes as well, but I just said polishes earlier because they should have added this in the event as well because we need all that stuff. This event is actually hard enough for the wards to be very good i would have the the um the costume armor tickets i would have exchanged those out for po polishes right up stones you know at least they could have basically gave us on three a lot more awards maybe not even two they can give you some more awards like they could have gave you the the um the tickets on two and one or just one only, and then two give you all that stuff plus rate up stones, and then three give you everything rate up stones, polishes, or not even polishes, just give us rate up stones and the um, guard stone. Just a better rewards period overall. They could have made this event significantly better, and it's just not a great, it's just it's not a good event in any shape or form, but, uh, but that was just my thoughts on the Chaos Abyss. I'm going to keep playing, um, not recording. 
I just want to record that and take care of the Regina event while I record real fast. But yeah, it's just not really a good event. And it could have been significantly better. But thanks, guys. Aharia out.